Ênfase no verbo. Em português, a pronúncia das palavras na frase é uniforme. Em inglês, damos mais ênfase ao verbo e substantivo. Vamos praticar com o verbo. Em português, eu vou lá. Em inglês, I go there. I go there. Repare que a ênfase é dada ao verbo go. Pratique até você se acostumar. I go there. I go there. I go there. Dica. Aumente o tom da voz quando falar go. Abaixe o tom da voz quando falar there. I go there. I go there. I go there. Mais uma vez. I go there. I go there. I go there. Em inglês, damos ênfase na palavra mais importante da frase. Não damos ênfase em todas as palavras, como em português. Vamos usar os pronomes pessoais. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Lembre-se que damos ênfase ao verbo principal. I go there. You go there. He goes there. She goes there. We go there. They go there. Pratique até você se acostumar. I go there. You go there. He goes there. She goes there. We go there. They go there. Ênfase no substantivo. Vamos praticar. Em português, damos ênfase ao adjetivo. Em inglês, damos ênfase ao substantivo. Em português, um lindo dia. Em inglês, a nice day. A nice day. Repare que a ênfase é dada ao substantivo day. Pratique até você se acostumar. A nice day, a nice day, a nice day. Day é a palavra mais importante da frase. Por isso, damos ênfase a ela. Mais substantivos. A nice dog. A nice girl. A nice food. A nice car. A nice boy. A nice book. Pratique até você se acostumar. A nice dog. A nice girl. A nice food. A nice car. A nice boy. A nice book. O segredo do inglês foi desvendado. Damos ênfase a verbos e substantivos com mais frequência. Volte o vídeo e pratique novamente antes de prosseguir. Não damos ênfase na frase. 1. Articles 2. Contractions 3. Object pronouns 4. Conjunctions 5. Prepositions 6. Modal verbs 7. Adverbs 1. Articles A An A A book A car An egg An apple The book The car A Pronunciamos A na fala An Pronunciamos an na fala. Vamos aprender a juntar as palavras. Repita. An egg. An apple. An orange. Repita mais uma vez. An egg. An apple. An orange. 
É fundamental que você aprenda a juntar as palavras em inglês. Pratique até você se acostumar. An egg. An apple. An orange. Two. Contractions. Personal pronouns. Verb to be. I am. I'm. You are. You're. He is. He's. She is. She's. It is. It is. We are. We're. They are. They are. Repita mais uma vez. I am. I'm. You are. You're. He is. He's. She is. She's. It is. It is. We are. We're. They are. They are. Sempre usamos contrações na fala. Agora em frases. It's a book. O substantivo book é a palavra mais importante. Juntamos então mais outras palavras. Pratique até você se acostumar. It's a book. It's a book. It's a book. Verbo to be com substantivo. I'm a student. You're a student. He's a student. She's a student. We students. You students. Fast students. Dica. Junte sempre a, an. Não fale separadamente. Acostume-se com o ritmo em inglês. Mais uma vez. I'm a student. You're a student. He's a student. She's a student. We students. You students. Fast students. Pratique. I'm a. I'm a student. I'm a. I'm a student. I'm a. I'm a student. You're a. You're a student. You're a. You're a student. You're a. You're a student. He's a. He's a student. He's a. He's a student. He's a. He's a student. She's a. She's a student. She's a. She's a student. She's a. She's a student. Pratique até você se acostumar. I'm a student. You're a student. He's a student. She's a student. We students. You students. Fast students. Mais contrações. Not. Contractions. Is not. Isn't. Are not. Aren't. Do not. Don't. Does not. Doesn't. Did not. Didn't. Repita mais uma vez. Is not. Isn't. Are not. Aren't. Do not. Don't. Does not. Doesn't. Did not. Didn't. Pratique. He is in German. They are in France. I don't go there. He doesn't go there. He didn't go there. Dica. Junte sempre a contração com a palavra seguinte. Não fale separadamente. Dica. Geralmente prendemos o T no final da palavra. Had. Don't. Didn't. Repita mais uma vez. He is in German. They are in France. I don't go there. He doesn't go there. He didn't go there.
Pratique até você se acostumar. He is in German. They are in France. I don't go there. He doesn't go there. He didn't go there. Em inglês, sempre pensamos na frase como um todo. Não pensamos palavra por palavra como em português. 3. Object pronouns. Personal pronouns. I. You. He. She. It. We. You. They. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. You. Him. Já praticamos os pronomes pessoais. Vamos praticar os pronomes oblíquos. Eles são objetos de verbos ou preposições. Vamos praticar. I like it. Qual é a palavra mais importante da frase? O verbo, é claro. Damos ênfase ao verbo. I like it. Pratique até você se acostumar. I like it. I like it. I like it. Mais exemplos. He likes me. I like him. She loves me. I love her. They need me. I need him. Him. Pronunciamos M. Her. Pronunciamos er. Them. Pronunciamos M. Repita mais uma vez. He likes me. I like him. She loves me. I love her. They need me. I need him. Pratique até você se acostumar. He likes me. I like him. She loves me. I love her. They need me. I need him. No início, você acha meio estranho, mas se acostuma. 4. Conjunctions Vamos praticar as conjunções. And, but, or. Muitas palavras em inglês não têm pronúncia fixa. Elas se adaptam à frase. No dicionário, pronúncia and. Pronúncia but. Pronúncia or. Na fala, and muda para an. But. Seguramos o t. But. Or. Muda para er. Vamos praticar. Jan Mary. Poor but happy. One or two. Pratique até você se acostumar. Jan Mary. Poor but happy. One or two. Jan Mary. Poor but happy. One or two. Jan Mary. Poor but happy. One or two. Five. Prepositions. Vamos praticar as preposições. At. Of. To. No dicionário. Pronúncia. At. Pronúncia. Of. Pronúncia. To. Na fala. At. Muda para. Ad. Of. Muda para. A. To. Muda para. Do. Vamos praticar. He's at school. A piece of paper. The road to London. Repita mais uma vez. He's at school. A piece of paper. The road to London. Pratique até você se acostumar. He's at school. A piece of paper. The road to London. He's at school. A piece of paper. 
He rolled the London. He said school. A piece of paper. He rolled the London. Você consegue. Sex. Modal verbs. Can. Could. May. Must. Should. Na fala. Can. Could. Must. Should. Modal verbs ficam juntos do verbo principal na frase. Em português, damos ênfase aos verbos modais. Em inglês, não damos ênfase aos verbos modais. A ênfase é dada ao verbo principal da frase. Em português, eu posso fazer isso. Em inglês, I can do it. Repare que a ênfase é dada em do, verbo principal. I can do it. Modal verb, can. Verbo principal, do. I can do it. Repita mais uma vez. Pratique até você se acostumar. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Mais exemplos. Em português. Preciso sair agora. Em inglês. I must leave now. Modal verb. Must. Verbo principal. Leave. I must leave now. Pratique até você se acostumar. I must leave now. I must leave now. I must leave now. Em português. Ele devia ir lá. Em inglês. You should go there. Modal verb. Should. Verbo principal. Go. You should go there. Pratique até você se acostumar. You should go there. You should go there. You should go there. Repita. I can do it. I must leave now. You should go there. Pratique até você se acostumar. I can do it. I must leave now. You should go there. Seven adverbs. Always. Usually. Sometimes. Seldom. Never. Repeat. They always arrive early. We usually go by car. He sometimes watch TV. She seldom reads a book. I never do it. Dica. O advérbio se apoia no verbo principal. Correto. I sometimes go to the movies. Errado. I sometimes go to the movies. Pratique até você se acostumar. They always arrive early. We usually go by car. He sometimes watch TV. She seldom reads a book. I never do it. Affirmative. Negative. Question. Repeat. He's a student. He isn't a student. Is he a student? Dica. He. Pronunciamos I quando não está no início da frase. Is he a student? Pratique até você se acostumar. He's a student. He isn't a student. Is he a student? He's a student. He isn't a student. Is he a student? He's a student. He isn't a student. Is he a student? Dica. 
Repare que a ênfase em student não muda. Acostume-se com o ritmo em inglês. Mais exemplos. You like dogs. You don't like dogs. Do you like dogs? Ênfase em like e também dogs não mudam. Pratique até você se acostumar. You like dogs. You don't like dogs. Do you like dogs? You like dogs. You don't like dogs. Do you like dogs? You like dogs. You don't like dogs. Do you like dogs? Repita. Kate likes me. She doesn't like me. Does she like me? Ênfase em que e também likes não mudam. Pratique até você se acostumar. Kate likes me. She doesn't like me. Does she like me? Kate likes me. She doesn't like me. Does she like me? Kate likes me. She doesn't like me. Does she like me? Repita. Rome is a nice city. It isn't a nice city. Is it a nice city? Ênfase em Rome e City. Pratique até você se acostumar. Rome is a nice city. It isn't a nice city. Is it a nice city? Rome is a nice city. It isn't a nice city. Is it a nice city? Rome is a nice city. It isn't a nice city. Is it a nice city? Repita. She did it. She didn't do it. Did she do it? Ênfase em do. Pratique até você se acostumar. She did it. She didn't do it. Did she do it? She did it. She didn't do it. Did she do it? She did it. She didn't do it. Did she do it? Acostume-se com o ritmo em inglês. Ênfase no adjetivo. Não há substantivo após o adjetivo. Cats are beautiful. They aren't beautiful. Are they beautiful? Bob's rich. He isn't rich. Is he rich? Pratique até você se acostumar. Cats are beautiful. They aren't beautiful. Are they beautiful? Cats are beautiful. They aren't beautiful. Are they beautiful? Cats are beautiful. They aren't beautiful. Are they beautiful? Bob's rich. He isn't rich. Is he rich? Bob's rich. He isn't rich. Is he rich? Bob's rich. He isn't rich. Is he rich? Sílaba forte. Repita. Orange. Student. German. London. Beautiful. Acostume-se com o ritmo em inglês. Mais uma vez. Orange. Student. German. London. Beautiful. Repita. As frases já foram dadas. It's an orange. She's a student. He isn't German. The road to London. Cats are beautiful. 
Pratique até você se acostumar. It's an orange. She's a student. He is in German. The road to London. Cats are beautiful. It's an orange. She's a student. He is in German. The road to London. Cats are beautiful. It's an orange. She's a student. He is in German. The road to London. Cats are beautiful. Summary. Resumo. Damos ênfase na frase. Verbo principal. They go there. She likes it. He works hard. I speak English. Substantivo. A nice day. He's a student. It's a book. They're at school. Não damos ênfase na frase. A book. An apple. The book. The egg. He isn't busy now. They are in France. I don't know the lesson. She doesn't speak French. They didn't say that. It's my book. I like it. She's Anne. I like her. He's Paul. I like him. Perrine and Paul. I like him. Night and day. Poor but happy. Is he coming or not? He left it too. A friend of mine. Go to school. I can dance well. He could buy the car. You may go now. I must see her. You should try it. He always arrives on time. She usually wakes up early. I sometimes see her. They seldom watch TV. He never said that. He goes there. He doesn't go there. Does he go there? They did it. They didn't do it. Did they do it?